you know, I've already had a couple ideas just now and somehow each one is flawed. <laughs> We're here at the uh, little Hot Luck Garage. All things Franklin Barbecue, all things Old Cooker, all things New Cooker. The Franklin Junkyard is where cookers go. It's where things on Hot Luck kind of live all year. It's also where we build stuff. I'll show you guys around and then we'll get to build in this rotisserie for Hot Luck. Where do we start? So really, I mean, I kind of started welding out of necessity. I mean, I needed a barbecue pit for Franklin Barbecue. The only way you could really make a good cooker is by being a person that cooks. You know, you have to design these things from the inside out. You have to think about the heat transfer, thermodynamics, fluid dynamics, all these things. But I just love the creativity of being able to like design things and make things and then tinker with things. I'm a self-proclaimed tinker for sure. And Hot Luck was an extension of that, of course. Um, we wanted to do a festival, but we wanted it to be super grassrootsy, super DIY, kind of getting back to our like rock and roll roots, you know, jumping in a van, going on tour kind of stuff. When I get into making cookers for chefs, you know, like, oh, I want to build a frame. Like, I don't have to go buy everything, right? So it's our own little private junkyard, or as I like to call it, my own private salvage yard. This is a bit of Franklin Barbecue history. This is our original trailer uh, that we opened up about 12, 13 years ago. This is a, an above ground vertical barbacoa cooker that we made with Suerte. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. So uh, this is actually my favorite cooker. This one, this one is mine, named Laverne and Shirley. This, I think, is the best cooker, that, well, the best large cooker I've ever built. Best large cooker I've ever cooked on. Love it. Airflow's perfect. It's just so smooth and so reactive. Turns on a dime. It's awesome. You know, I did the, the smokestack collectors myself, cut everything out. It was so particular. I kind of built it as I went, um, and I plan on Frenching in the lights and, and doing all kinds of cool stuff. So I'll finish it one day before it gets rusty. Ah, it's already rusty. Darn. We should head on up to the shop and uh, see what's going on over there. This is kind of our uh, mad scientist laboratory, if you will. This is literally the first bead of weld I ever put down. You know, this is like a little one inch bead here. Read the manual, change it. But anyway, back to bicycle land. Excellent, excellent. I think this will work great. I mean, it's not Pee Wee's bike, it's not red clearly, but it's gonna work great. So for this one, one of the very few builds we've got this year, the, the Michelin guys from San Antonio, you know, Shawtex's like, hey, we really wanna build a rotisserie that's powered by a bicycle. I'm like, ah, oh, gosh, kind of thinly stretched right now. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this. Well, if you guys find a bike, I'll, I'll figure out a way to build this thing. So somehow I've gotta figure out how to get this bike to power an eight foot trench that's gonna have a one inch piece of steel rotisserie um, thing going on it. And somehow I've gotta get this power distribution from the back wheel, you know, the sprocket or the chain, or maybe get into the hub somehow um, to transfer that power to a, uh, to a shaft that'll have like the forks and stuff on it. I guess the easiest thing would be to build like a stand or somehow weld the back part of this frame. Yeah, I think it's time to get to work on this thing. So we'll just see where it goes. <laughs> I'm thinking I want to put this bicycle as far forward as possible. Safety glasses. I, I've never built a bicycle powered rotisserie before. It's definitely a first time. I think it'll be fun. I, I really like building stuff kind of on the fly like that. And I think it's really a special type of person that likes to kind of build as they go and, and figure things out. I'm definitely that kind of guy. The plan is kind of forming as I'm doing it. I think it's gonna work. It's totally gonna work. In the voice of the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I think this is probably gonna work out all right. And then, if all goes well, we'll be dragging this thing out to Hot Luck. All right, Def's got a game plan. It just keeps changing.
Hi, my name is Galicia, Chef my corner restaurant Mason in San Antonio, Texas. And this is our uh, hot log rig. Uh, we have this beautiful spit. We have some pork bellies that we attach to a bicycle. Talking to uh, Chef Rico, we're like, hey, it's our first off fuego. Like, we gotta come correct, we gotta come big. So uh, this is where the bicycle came to be. So Aaron was uh, gracious enough to build it for us. And uh, you can get on the bike, you can uh, pedal and the spit will turn. Or we can have a little motor. It's uh, a super cool fixer here at the festival. So uh, we're super excited he was able to pull it off. So we're ready to start serving some of the guests. Bike tacos, uh, pork belly, uh, roasted and pickled pineapple, little lemon juice, and salsa. Thank you.